Oh. Whew, I just woke up from the cozy calm hotel. Now let's see what we got today. Some more! What's up, buddy? No, oh, hey, Lightning. I'm just kind of hanging out. What are you doing? Oh, I just came here to ask you a question. Is this your first ever restaurant? I'm no, I mean, I have another restaurant, but I also have a lot of stuff here where I can make food right here. You have a, you have an old restaurant you used to work at? Yeah, that's how I learned a lot of my tricks, when it was cooking. So that's how you, how you, you got, you were a famous chef? Yeah, that's right, man. Yeah, but you went bankrupt. Yeah, but you went, yeah, but you went, yeah, but it's, but it's, but your, your restaurant went bankrupt. So you, so you moved to Radio Springs to make another restaurant. Oh, yeah, that's right. I kind of forgot about that part. Yeah, but, 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 but let's go check it out. All right, let's do it. Whoa, this, is this the restaurant you were talking about? Yeah, this is it, man. All right, it's called o Olga's Dinner. Or in your case, Fomo's Fomo's Dinner. Yeah, that's because Olga was, was my mom, so, you know, I named the restaurant after her. Olga, Olga was your mom? Yeah, that's right. Aw, aw, everybody has a mom. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, Lenny and Fillmore. Oh, hi, Casper, how are you doing? Oh, I got a nice gift for you. It's from someone and I have, that's on my own. It's a picture of a of a food critic. Oh, hey, Doc. Yeah, man, he's I, he's a good food critic from what I've heard. Yeah, the famous food critic Doc Hudson, also known as the president of Chase's World, is coming here. All right, I can't wait to have Doc in my restaurant. Yeah, a food. Wait, someone doesn't know what a food critic is. Hey, wait a minute. A critic? Does that mean he's going to tell me all my food is bad? No, Fillmore. A food critic is where sir, or someone comes into your restaurant and decides if it's okay, good, or perfect. Oh, okay. And if it's perfect, the food critic gives you the blue ribbon. Oh, wow. Well, that sounds pretty good. I guess I'll have to do my best on Doc's meal. But only, but, but, so you have to make it perfect, okay? All right, I'll... I will do the best I can to make it perfect. Okay. Ha! Ah, wait, um, it's awfully quiet in here. Has, does nobody come in this restaurant anymore? Well, it depends. It kind of comes and goes. This is one of our nights that isn't too busy. Yeah, you went bankrupt, so nobody comes here anymore. That, that sucks. Well, yeah, that's true. But I heard your 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 kitchen stove. Oh, 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 are oh, the ovens are still working. Yeah, everything still works, man. Let's go check it out. All right. Whoa, is this the cooking aisle? Yeah, this is it. Pretty nice, huh? Oh yeah, don't worry. You used to, you know, since you had a, you were you used to be rich here. You have you got you made a lot of. You made a lot of good stuff. Pizza, burgers, noodles, oh, spaghetti, meatballs. Yeah, that's right. Those are all some of my favorites, too. Yeah, but but after you went bankrupt, you, but you have to move to Radio Springs to make another one in your restaurants. And well, you made fuel. And that, that's when you started making fuel, right? Yeah, that's true. Now my fuel is my bread and butter, but I still can cook all kinds of stuff. All right. Wait, Dr. Food Critic is going to be here in five minutes. We better get ready. All right. Okay, everybody. Dr. Food Critter is going to be here in five minutes. So we need, need to make this, this restaurant perfect. Perfect. So, so Casper. Um, yes? We'll go to the store and get some ingredients. All right. Yes? Yes, sir. On my way, sir. Sir, sir. Sir. Ra, you, you turn around. You turn on the stove and ovens. Okay, sir. Right away, sir. And Man and Mansa? Huh? You will and Mansa, you will be you will be you will 
I'll put the ingredients, the puffins, and toppings on the food the, with the food critic wants. Okay, sounds good, sir. And fill more. <laughs> Alright, now our job is done. Wait, all we need is a waiter. Alright, man. Hmm, who should be our waiter today? Um, oh, I got an idea. You can be our waiter, waiter Fillmore. Uh, yeah, I can do that. I'm, it's my restaurant, and I've got a food critic here. I might as well serve him myself. All right. Ding dong. Oh, the doorbell rang. If one, what is it? What is the? If oh, hi, Doc. Uh, the food, the food critic's here. Hey, Lightning McQueen. How are you doing? Oh. I'm good. It's nice for you to be a food critic on film at an Oga dinner. Well, yeah, I've, I've heard a lot about Fillmore's cooking. I know he had some hard times, but I want to come check out the food. And if he does a good job, maybe I can help him get back in business here. Sure, but if it... Wait, is that... Is in your pockets, wait, is the blue ribbon? Oh, yeah, absolutely. If he gets a blue ribbon... You know, then that'll follow him everywhere. He'll probably want to go back to Radiator Springs anyway, but maybe then he could hire some of his family to run this restaurant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, boy. Do food critics only eat, only give people blue ribbons if they're perfect? You gotta be really super good to get a blue ribbon, Lightning. Alright, alright. Okay guys, let's get started. Here's your seat, Doc. Thanks, McQueen. Summer's a waiter. Doc would like a turkey. Hey, hey, Doc. What is it you're interested in eating today, man? Well, you know, one of my favorite foods, it's close to Thanksgiving. How about you make me a turkey? Oh, yeah, man. That's no problem. I can do that. You want mashed potatoes and that kind of stuff, too? Sure. All right, I'll go get it started. All right, our, all the stoves and ovens are turned on. Oh, okay, everybody, the food credit is here. So we, so we have to make sure to make this restaurant perfect and not make it make any messes. Okay, hey, hmm. wait for Casper. Where is he with all that, these ingredients? Mm. I'm back. These are really heavy. Here you go, guys. Thank you, Casper. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. Um, 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 can I make? Can I put put on the zombie feed with you? Okay. Hmm. Right. Right. Um. So, how do you make a turkey? Uh, um. Oh. Uh, oh. Get some. Oh. Get some. Oh, oh, at least in my opinion, get some beans, some beans, okay, right, right in this, right in this guy, he's as a, he's as a box, uh, or pot, yeah, pot, you put the beans in there, and, 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 you gotta, you gotta have the turkey too, man, you gotta take the raw turkey and cook it, wait, a turkey? Do you mean I have to cut a turkey's head? Gobble, 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 go! No, you don't have to. Torture that turkey! Torture that turkey! Hurry, hurry! Ah, there we go. Well, that's one way to do it. You also can buy a turkey that has already, has already had that done to him, so he's all ready to go, and you don't have to cut his head off yourself. Uh. Um, we also need cheese. Okay. Sprinkle the cheese in there. And some salt and pepper. Uh -huh. And and add the pepper. Uh, 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 achoo! Whew, whew. Jeez, jeez, sometimes pepper can make you sneeze. Oh, bless you guys, man. I'm not sure if I can sneeze as hard as Snot Rod, though. No, that Snot Rod's got a powerful sneeze, man. Yeah. And and we we'll, and we need some flour to put in the, the turkey and some milk and add and now now we have two eggs 
All right, now now it stir. Alright, now now stir now stir all the ingredients together. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's my job. Okay, while Casper's stirring his ingredients, let's go check out the food critic to see how he's doing. All right, I'll go check it out. Well, hey, Mr. Doc Hudson, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing fine. You need any refills on that water or anything we brought you? Do you need any chips before or just as an appetizer? No, just the water is fine. All right, man, we're working hard on your dinner. It'll be ready in just a few minutes. Okay, thank you, Fillmore. You're welcome. <laughs> It's all stirred up and ready to go. Ooh. Oh, well, okay. Okay, good job. Now, Rock, put this thing in the oven. Okay, right away, sir. All right. And, uh, uh, all right. Cook it for over 10 minutes. Okay. 10 minutes later. All right, looks like the, the turkey is done. Oh, pot, 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 pot. All right, now it's time to put the toppings on the turkey. Turkey. Oh, that's my job. Take the take the turkey out the box. Okay. okay so what what kind of toppings do we need on this, sir? Uh oh oh, I already need no. We we need some pepper. Okay. And a and a, and and one drip of water. Only one. And we need some, need, and, and we also need some, and we also need some barbecue, barbecue sauce, sauce in a bowl, that, cause that's what, what, to dip the turkey into the sauce, cause sometimes that would just cook turkey. Okay. Okay. Hey. Oh, alright, Fillmore. Right. I'm gonna put this in, put this in this, in this thing. Right. Okay, Fillmore, uh, uh, time to serve it. All right, man, let's hear. Let's go do it. It looks delicious. <laughs> All right, hey, Doc, I've got your turkey, man. You ready? Oh, yes, definitely. I'm ready for some turkey. All right. Da -da -da -da! How does it look? Well, it looks delicious. Let's see how it tastes. All right, bite, have a bite. Oh, Fillmore, I've got to say, this is the best turkey I've ever had. Oh, thanks, man. We Wait, put a lot of work into it. Does that mean Fillmore gets the blue ribbon? Well, let me eat a little bit more just to make sure. Let me try those mashed potatoes, too. Oh, that is delicious. This is the best Thanksgiving meal that I've ever had. Fillmore... You are awarded the blue ribbon. Yay! Oh, all right, man. That's awesome. Congratulations, Fillmore. You are a really good, but you are a really good friend. Good food, food critic. Well, thank you guys, and thanks for helping me make that turkey and the mashed potatoes. You're welcome. All right, I'm gonna write this up and. If you want to, you'll have this restaurant open in no time, and you can get some of your brothers and sisters to run it while you come back to Radiator Springs. All right, man, that sounds awesome. We can cook here for a little a while. Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds great, too, man. Let's just wait for some customers to come here. Let's go back to the kitchen. That was fun. Hey, Doc? Oh, yeah, I always like... I like being a food critic, especially when the food is delicious as it is here. All right. All right. Well, we'll see you later, Doc. Bye. Bye, everybody. Hey, bye, everybody.